Polaroid Swinger. If you've ever seen the video of the girl with the Polaroid Swinger walking down the beach, holding it, this I believe was like a teenager's camera. It was a, a step down from the Polaroid land cameras, like we all know. Let me pull one out of the fridge here. If, this is a swinger. You had the big swinger, but it was in the time of the land cameras. So I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. It's been sitting in my fridge for like two and a half years now, preserving what film it does have in it. This is the swinger. It takes AG1 flash bulbs that you put inside the camera. It was before the time of the one step and SX70. So Polaroid had swinger film for their cameras, for the Polaroid swinger. And the swinger film was different. Uh, I'm gonna open it up. So this is the packaging of Swinger Film. It's Type 20C film, and on the box it may it says Land Film Type C for Polaroid Swingers. And I'm opening it up. This is probably the last of the Polaroid Swinger film, like legit. I've never seen one of these for my own eyes. Oh, it smells good too. Oh, it doesn't look too expired. I mean, it's flexing where the chemicals are, so. Good chances this might work or be a complete bust. So right here is your negative here. And then here is your positive, which is your image. To load, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna do this here as well. To load, we're gonna stick, I believe, the cartridge here. Kind of gives you instructions. There we go. I'm watching the, the Sprint Cup race at the moment. So I think you're supposed to stick this, the... Yeah, I'm actually questioned. I've never done this before. It's supposed to make some sort of sense. So this goes here. The negative goes, I believe. Stick and camera film. Hold film by tab. Oh, okay. There we go. So if I pull the land camera up here for a second, you put the film pack, this piece here, and this piece here. And then you close it. There. Now it wants me to pull this tab here in the back. So I'm going to carefully brace it and lightly pull. I don't know how far I'm supposed to pull, because it's not telling me. Pull straight out until it stops about nine inches. What's nine inches? I'm not that old. Oh, oh, never mind. It stopped for me. Nope. Push button with them. And pull it till it stops. How does it tear? Okay. I don't know what in the heck I'm doing. And I'm gonna take a picture. Now it's um, pr roughly this uh, Polaroid Swinger came with a uh, a feature that was Polaroid's Yes feature. There's Yes when you have the picture in sight. So let's say there's a squirrel outside. I'm gonna go take a picture of that squirrel. Okay, I took a picture of the squirrel. I pushed the button to advance the film. I pulled the film straight out. I write roughly 15 seconds, tear it, and I have no picture. What you can do is just tear your photo off right here.
and you have your photo. So let's try it again. Let's try it with the flash bulb this time. I'm going to take a picture of my trusty, dusty camera. It's roughly less than six feet away. And pop that hot flash cube out. It's not a cube. It burnt itself. And we're going to pull it. We're going to hit the button. Pull straight out in one motion. And then hold and tear. Anything. Nothing. So I'd say this is a bust. There's eight photos and I've used two and there's nothing. So I think this film is a bust. So old swinger film. Not the wisest idea. That's my tip. At least I had a chance to be able to try some swinger, but it's swinging out of the park for me. It's swinging right over my head. I'm I'm bad with these puns. I'm I'm done. Goodbye.